Alison, Big Brother knows that you flirted with George Clooney, but how would you like the chance to win a kiss from the original George, George Lamb? Yes, please. If you can produce ten animal noises, Big Brother can make kisses happen. But if you fail, you will eat the cheese in front of you. It's OK. I like cheese. It's good. That's good. It's been under Sam Pepper's armpit. Oh, OK. OK, well, I really want to lock lips with the lovely George, so I'll give it a go. Moo! Bah! Meow! Ruff! Ruff! Ah! Ah! Moo! Oink! Oink! Ooh. Alison, that's what? too many moos. <laughs> Eat the cheese. Ruined. Good looking bunch, are they? Welcome to Little Brother. It's day 64. The time now, 6.01. On tonight's show, we've got ex Big Brother housemate and friend of the stars, Alison Hammond. Well, also, Joe Hemmings will be revealing the truth behind the open nomination. Plus, Zig and Zag's cookie job better be full as they're going to be BB9's Katrea. Uh, and we have news of a task twist. Two horsemates will be leaving the house to take part in the Pantomime Horse of the Year competition. We'll be joining them live, everybody. Yay! You're right to be excited. But first, back to last night's show, amongst the backstabbing, bitching and buckets of gunge, BBLB got a mention! Yay! I love a man that shaves his armpits. Really? I'm coming to say that I want to go home. I don't think you want me in here for two minutes. I'm not enjoying the experience. I feel like I'm being persecuted by you lot right now. I don't like how I'm coming across now. I'm ready to leave. This week's nominations have been cancelled <laughs> to be replaced with nasty nominations. <laughs> okay. It makes me kind of see you a bit different. That's fine. She has made a horrible mistake, which she yeah. could very well regret. If I could do it all again, you would. Ooh. Woof, woof. Ah. 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 Mario managed to recall a sequence of 22 hours. <laughs> I'm sorry, deep. Sam. That's deep. I thought I was getting a numb off you, Sammy boy. That's what he said on BBLB. Sammy Pepper is not a happy boy, which is why today's burning issue is, was Mario right to pick Pepper? Tell us what you think. So, since open nominations, the house relationships have been turned upside down. And here to help us pick their minds apart is relationship expert and behavioural psychologist, Jo Hemming. <laughs> How are you? Doing I'm good, thank you. Um, so what have you noticed about the housemates and how their relationship has changed since open noms? Well, of course, you know, housemates love to discuss nominations. They're yep. not supposed to, but they think about it a lot of the time. They're always trying to work out who's nominated who. This is the first opportunity to actually tear away all that strategy. And there's those open nominations, all that gunking had to be done yeah. quickly and spontaneously. Very interesting. So all their defences are down. They are raw and out there. Yeah, cement some relationships, fragments others, right, basically. Okay. Talking of relationships, uh, Corinne was crying for a considerable amount of time. And then she went and gunned Joe, who's meant to be a friend. So how how do you think their relationship is going to change? Well, I think it's going to change substantially. We could have had that bonding trio with three girls left yeah. in the house. I think um, that Joe will certainly feel betrayed by Corin. Corin took, actually, I was watching the live feed, 23 yeah. minutes to decide what That's she was going to do. That's a long, long time. So I think it's slightly Machiavellian. I think she knew what she wants to do, but she wants to play it so really? the other housemates didn't know. So you yeah. think she's playing it so that the housemates kind of feeling sorry for her? And yeah, I mean, she's someone with considered behaviour. She wanted to do that. It was a deliberate move, I okay. think. What about Josie, then? Because she again nominated friends uh, with JJ and Andrew. 
but said, you know, that she didn't mean to do it. Are you are you buying it from uh, Josie? Do you know I am buying it from Josie? Josie has what we call implicit self-esteem. Right. It means she's very spontaneous, she's impulsive. That's her behaviour. She doesn't consider what she does. She wants a laugh, she does it first and she thinks about it later. So I think she certainly had those regrets afterwards. A bit of fun for Josie. How do you think JJ is going to react to it though? Because he's really competitive. He's very competitive. I mean, I think she's playing a slightly dangerous game, if indeed it was a game, because, you know, uh, John James and JJ are close. This yeah. could sort of spoil her relationship with John James. I mean, that's partly her regret, realising the impact of right. her decision. So do you think if JJ stays, she might get the old nudge out of the way from John James because his relationship will get tighter? Uh, I still think John James will stay pretty close-knit right. to Josie. And what about as far as Andrew's concerned with Josie? I mean, poor old Andrew. Andrew's had a crush on Josie since he went in there. Yes. And he's a sensitive soul, and I think he felt... He definitely felt very betrayed okay. by Josie. And also, when he found out that it was going to be face-to-face -face nominations, like... His face was like thunder, like he really didn't know what to do, did he? He was shocked, devastated, he just sat completely still, he sucked his fingers, um, he put his hand over his mouth, almost like trying not to let words out. He didn't want to do it, this is not the kind of spontaneous behaviour that Andrew likes. He likes to know what he's going to do and when he's going to do it. So you don't think he's playing a game with, oh, everybody feels sorry for me, I'm so scared? I don't think so. I think that's very genuine okay. from Andrew. Uh, John James has been up for the last two weeks and then all of a sudden, not one nomination this week. So where's the turnaround around come from you know, I as far think as he's concerned? There's a sort of invincibility about John James because he's now a unit with Josie. People don't want to upset Josie. They like Josie. Clearly she adores him. I mean, together, they're quite a powerful duo, and I think they didn't want to sort of gun. Is she him. seen as that powerful within the house? I mean, I know she's loved outside of the house, but especially recently, because they've just... All they kind of do is spend time in bed together. They do. I mean, there's an awful lot of duvet snuggling going on, but I still think she's got that honesty, openness and generosity of character that people are fond of her, genuinely right, okay. very fond of her. So last time you came on, you said that there wasn't going to be any kind of romance <laughs> between Josie and John James. We've because... had a little bit, apparently, under the duvets, which we haven't really seen. But do you stand by your original statement that the it's duvets. not going to blossom? I've seen a lot of quiet action under there. No, I don't think it's going to blossom. Clearly, he definitely adores her. I think he's begun to realise, actually, as well as that, the comfort factor, that she's a very good ally to have in that yeah. house. I mean, because they come as that powerful unit. I still don't think romance is going to blossom. I haven't really moved on, I'm afraid, Emma, from that. And very quickly, let's talk about Mario putting Sam up uh, in Save and Base. Is that a tactical move on Mario's part, or was it just a random, oh, you're the newest? Yeah. So I think it was very tactical. Mario's always said he's in Sorry. it to win it. Um, he put him up Sorry, because clearly he's getting more popular. Why? He's moved from sort of geeky, annoying, irritating, fearless right. housemate yeah. to somebody who's become much exactly. more endearing. And it's normally the other way around. You normally love a housemate and then end up not yeah, really liking them, but he was yeah. disliked and then loved. Um, so, so why was Sam so surprised? Because he's kind of gone in there, not been very nice to them initially, and now he's up. But he looked truly devastated that, he, he's, he looked, that his face was switched. He looked very close to tears, I have to say. I mean, he was obviously disappointed. Uh, he wants to be in that house longer. It's such an interesting combination that he has of hostility and sensitivity. His questions and now have gone from being intrusive to almost being nurturing. Right, OK. And I think actually being up um, for nomination is going to give him a lot of support in the house. People really care about him Yeah, now. I love Sam Pepper. I yeah, think I do too. I and I love you that. too, Joe oh, Thank you very much. So Big round of applause uh, for Joe. Uh, right, now, get ready to cover your ears as the words happy house are about to be screamed at 100 decibels. It's Zig and Zag with BB9's Cookie Monster, Katreya. It's BB Nines Katria! Hello, Sid! Hello, Captain! Oh. Oh. Hello, Sack! Oh. 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 Hi, Cat! So, Cat, are you still a cookie monster? Are you? Oh, yes, I am! By the way, what? why you steal my rubber duck from my bar? I was lonely this morning when I have a bar! Give All me right. my rubber no, duck! No, I'll tell you what. Sag, super glued it to my head! Sorry about Girl, that! Pull my fur off! It's the oh, kind you of. Not this sag, you naughty, Ow! Naughty, Ow! Naughty, oh! Naughty Can we have security on standby, just, please? Just in case. Just... You wanted it to be a happy house. You right? sure happy did. Happy house! Yeah, you Which... want to sing a happy house with me? Yeah, go on. Let's yeah. do it! Go first, we go to the left. Uh, happy, 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 happ
Rachel Rice. Yes, Rachel Who won? is great. But some people say that Rachel was the most boring winner ever. Would you agree? Oh, I said she is gorgeous. She's so kind. She's so nice. That's why her win. Yeah, but ah, is she she's boring? She's gorgeous, but she is boring. Um, <laughs> I don't think she's boring to me at all. I think she is hilarious to me. Right. <laughs> Now, your eviction was such a surprise that you didn't even have time to get changed. No. And you left my... in your dressing gown. Yeah. What would I... you like to have worn? Uh, my, my eviction hump is the most shocking thing in my whole entire life. Most the shocking most shocking thing in your thing. whole life? Yes. Really, 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 really. Did you learn anything about yourself? Yes. Tell me. I can be hilarious and happy, and I can try my best to make people around me be happy and comfort them as much as I can. You're like a happiness angel, aren't you? I'm trying to be. Can yeah. you, are you happy or...? You I, I just can't help but be happy. I'm not sure if I'm happy or, or yes. slightly scared. Uh, who's your favourite Big Brother contestant this year, do you think? Who do you think? This year? Yeah. I really, really like Steve. Oh. So I like Mario a lot, too. So you like Steve, but do you not think Steve's a bit boring, though? Because he hasn't done much. I don't think much. he is at all. Mm. He's just nice, chill, and he very cheer up people. I remember when Chubby first upset the first yeah. day, he yes. gave like, her a comfort and yeah. a hug because he been through a lot of things yeah. in his life. So And he like give out positive and comfort energy to people. So I really, really like Steve. Give it out the wow, good okay. vibes. Okay. Good. Well, look, you know what? She loves cookies and we love her. That's a fact. Why it's you cat. Me a cookie? It's the cat that got the cookie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, happy house. How we miss Katrina. Still to come, the gorgeous Alison Hammond's on the show. And we've got some show stopping news on the housemates' pantomime horse tests. But first, here are the numbers to dial to a Victor housemate. We'll see you in four. To evict Dave, call 09011 323 To evict JJ, call 09011 To evict Joe, call 09011 To evict Sam, call 09011 Calls cost 50p from a BT landline, other networks may be higher and mobiles will cost considerably more. 15p from each call will be donated to charity. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Voting closes in Friday's show. The time now, 6.17. We've got some exclusive news, guys. You don't know what it is yet. John, James and JJ have walked out of the house. No. But don't worry. Uh, it's all part of the Horsemate stars. They've been released from the house in full pantomime horse regalia for a day out at the races where they'll be competing in a genuine pantomime horse race against real-life pantomime horses. Uh, we're now going to go live to the horse, mate, at a secret location where one of our producers, Marco, is looking after uh, Marco, you've been with JJ Lightning since they arrived. How are they limbering up, mate? Yeah, they're looking well, George, looking well. They've been looking at the uh, opposition, uh, feeling quite confident, I think, so, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Everything's going to be all right. Are they, enjoying their, are they enjoying their time out of the house? I think they are. They're very happy, very pleased with themselves. Can I just say this technology is working brilliantly? Uh, <laughs> what do you think their chances of winning are, Marco? I think they've got a very strong chance. So I've been having a look at the other 12 races. Right, um, right, right, right. I think these guys are uh, having the chance. I think they're just off now, actually, George. Great. All right, Marco, real pleasure talking to you, mate. You take care. Make sure they don't horse around too much this afternoon. Uh, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Uh, here's, uh, here's the rest of the latest BBLB news. Well, I hope they gallop away with the win. <laughs> uh, right, I'm really excited because I'm right here in the horse training room. Yay! But I've got to be really quiet. So, the aftermath of the nasty nominations rumbles on at 12.01 yesterday afternoon. Jo spoke to Josie about her disappointment in Corinne nominating her. She chose me out of me, out of her, in her own mind, to manipulate it to suit her to stay and her gain in here. It was nothing to do with me crying. 
Do you get what I mean? No, no I'll put my hands up. I was completely flabbergasted when she did what she did. <laughs> because she's not here for she's not here for friendship. She's here to stay to the end. And that's mm. it. And that's bottom line, period. Look, I don't <laughs> hate her, but I don't trust her. And I don't I don't associate with people that I can't trust. <sighs> On to the pantomime horse task, which went from a trot to a gallop last night when at 6.34 the housemates took part in a beep test challenge against each other. Looks like those guys can't have done any better. <laughs> and as we mentioned in yesterday's news, Sam Pepper had to smear himself with smelly cheese in the hope of securing Dave's letter from home in a bid to cheer up the mopey monk. Sam was successful in his mission and at 7.07 last night, he played postman for an emotional Dave. Dad, this is your four little pr precious children. Just write in to say hello. We're missing you so, so, so much and are thinking of, uh, of you all the time. You're always been an inspiration because you do the best and the rest doesn't matter as long as you know you've tried your hardest in every aspect of your life. We love you, support you and are proud of you all the way. Lol. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. There we go, Dave. Oh, well done. Not a problem, man. Let's hope that perks him up and the glory fills his belly once more. That's it for now. I'm feeling a little bit hoarse. <laughs> Don't forget you can find out all about JJ Lightning's big race on the website. Uh, now, despite being evicted on day 15 of Big Brother 3, our next guest is one of the most successful Big Brother housemates ever. Forget opening supermarkets, selling stories to magazines, or even becoming a wag. This brummy housemate has interviewed the likes of Will Smith, Pierce Brosnan, and Rennie Zellweger. Put your hands together for Alison Hammond, everybody. <laughs> Alison, I can't Hello. believe it. You're only in there 15 days. I know. Two weeks. It's like a two-week holiday, really. It was really. exactly like that. It's Way lovely. back in 2002, Big Brother 3. 2002, Are, are you yeah. still in touch with any of the guys? I am. Me? There's three people. There's yeah. Johnny, um, Sophie, I don't know if you remember, Sophie Pritchard. Uh, you ain't got a clue. And Kate Lawler, who won it. So you got to her because she lives in Birmingham now. There you go. Which is brilliant. So Keeping we live, it nice and long. We don't live together, but we live not far from each other. Uh, I, I would hope that, you know, at your age, you're, you're not living with your pals anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, no, uh, yeah, no, no not far. Just across the road. You're uh, you're currently writing a, a column for, uh, yes, for a real magazine. That's that's been you're amazing. Yeah, really been 500 words every week, and I'm loving All it. All on Big Brother? All on Big Brother. Wow. Just Big Brother. So I have to watch it every night. So I'm clued up, and I'm loving every minute. I'm loving the production. I'm loving everything about it, I really. think we all are, aren't we, guys? Yeah. Hey, now, JJ and John James, they left the house today. How, how difficult yeah. is it for them to leave and then kind of go back in at this stage? Well, it never happened to me. I just left and left. Yes. But um, to leave and then see people and you, you suddenly realise, what am I doing in this house? What What's going on? And I, I think it might be a bad thing, to be honest with you. I reckon they're going to come back in. And you know what John James is like? He's a bit like, sulky. He's, gonna be he's sulky. a nightmare as it is anyway. All they do is moan. All yeah, they, they do, do is sulk, sulking, sulking. You know, are you in Big Brother? How amazing is that? It's the last one. Just relish Let's it. Let's get Alison on the moment. voice of God and just tell him that you, you, you call the shots. <laughs> Uh, now we've uh, we've been pretty much kind of rewriting the rule book this year. There's been loads of twists and turns. Yeah. Have you been enjoying that in comparison? Because I mean, back oh, in your day, it was pretty simple, really. I what was, was going loving on. it. I mean, can you imagine a spaceship coming into your garden? Yeah. How amazing is that? Sure. And then housemates popping out. I'd I'd love all that. Should we have a little look at some of the twists and turns, guys? Yeah. Strong man. I am Titan. There's a gun. <laughs> I am a robot. You're gonna own it, yes? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh. Housemates are in the living room. I love it, Amy. No idea. Can I have some more? More! It's funny when you watch it back like that, you, you kind of forget all of that it's great mad, stuff isn't happened it? already. And the fact that they can come out and they perform things and they yeah. see the audience. Oh, See, what well, Mario's trick was pretty impressive. I still don't know how he did that on Friday night. And also, night. wouldn't he have felt that he got a little bit heavy with Davina? Not yeah. really heavy, because she's not that big. But, uh, you know, he would have felt that he got heavy and he wasn't no, no, it was, at it, all. It was amazing. Uh, now, Lovely. they've been talking about nominations a lot this series. Yes. Uh, and, and you know what, though? Truth be told, they've been doing that since 2002. Really? I, yeah, I would never do no, that. No, no, they have, Alison. Have really? a little look at this, my love. Discussing it the reasons you might use for nominating someone for eviction is not allowed. 
Okay. Discussing the type of person you are thinking of nominating is not allowed. Big Brother takes any breach of any of these rules extremely seriously. Do you understand, Alison? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have a lot to say for yourself back then. Not really. I, I, I treated Big Brother like the headmaster. I just felt like I was being told Sorry, that. Miss. Sorry, Miss. Yeah, I was miss. just like looking down. Did you see my glasses? What they was were, I wearing? They were real nice. Dallas. Real nice. Yeah, you were nailing it on the, on the style front back then. <laughs> Uh, I mean, surely it can't be that hard to keep your mouth shut for, for just a little while in the house. You know, you get, so when you're told not, you're not allowed to do something, George, it's really difficult. You, 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 want, to, you want to be free, you want to be able to talk about anything. And, and also, when you don't like someone, you want to share it with someone, do you know what I mean? Right. You want your mobile phone. I know, but that's, kind of, that's kind of how it works, darling. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's very difficult. I'd like to see you, George, have a little go. Yes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's not going to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, in 2002, Kate Law, the year uh, Kate yes. was our first female winner, we got three girls left in the house. Do you think any of them can win it? Oh, I'd like to think that they could, but I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, Josie's doing really well. If she stopped putting herself down, because she's very self-deprecating. Very self-deprecating. Do you think she's but... maybe just playing the sympathy card? I don't know. But it's going. To... She needs to stop it anyway, because I'm bigger than her, and I don't put myself down. And I just think she's lovely. Um, jo looks like she's going to walk. Right. And Corinne, she's done. She's got some great one-liners. I love Corinne. She's a good going. Yeah. She? So I think they could win if they carry who, on. So if it isn't it isn't one of those three, who do you think it will be? Um, I don't know. Andrew's doing well, do you not think? Andrew's... Yeah, you reckon uh, Andrew's dark horse? Andrew's with me, with the girls in the diary room, call me, and the whole, you know, 24 thing, and the scientist thing. All right, he's, we'll, he's we'll have to wait and see when. Let's give her a big round of applause. Yeah. Alison Hammond, everybody. Yeah. Get back uh, right, Look. earlier on uh, in the show, we asked you, was Mario right to uh, pick Pepper? 50-50 today, No way. Everybody. No way. Yeah, I'm not talking about Lamar. divided. <laughs> nah, uh, that's all for today. Join us tomorrow when we'll be chatting to original bad boy, nasty Nick Bateman. The main show is on tonight, Channel 4 at 10 o'clock. And if you want to catch up on what happened on John James and JJ's trip to the races, go to channel4.com forward slash Big Brother. Have a lovely evening. Bye. Bye. Bye.